so we have 8.1 that says uh, determine f prime of x uh, from first principles if it is given that um, f of x is equals to minus x squared and then we're supposed to use uh, first principles we know that from uh, the first principles f prime of x is equals to the limit as h tends into zero of f of x plus h uh, minus f of x divided by um, h so now uh, we have our function we have our formula we can just go ahead and substitute uh, the function into the formula so we we, we are going to have uh, the limit as h turns into zero of everywhere the where there is x we put x plus h because that's what the formula is saying so we're going to have minus in place of x we put x plus h and then squared uh, minus the formula uh, the equation the function itself uh, that will be minus x squared right and then from there uh, we're gonna divide by h and then we're gonna solve uh, x plus h squared right so we're gonna have the limit as h turned into zero of minus if you square x plus h uh, you're gonna get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus uh, minus x squared which is just gonna be plus uh, x squared and then divided by h uh, which will be equal to the limit as h turn into zero of minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared plus x squared so we have minus x squared plus x squared so that will be zero right uh, divided by h so this will be equal to the limit as h turns into zero of minus 2x h minus h squared divided by h now we can take h as a common factor right so we're gonna have the limit as h turn into zero of h um, minus 2x uh, minus h divided by h and then h and h uh, will cancel out right and then uh, now we let in h turn into zero so we're gonna just have minus 2x so for 8.1 uh, we're supposed to get uh, minus 2x uh, which is <laughs> quite straightforward and easy if you use the power rule so 8.2.1 says let's find f prime of x uh, if it is given that f of x is equals to 4x cube minus 5x squared you can go uh, ahead and use the first principles uh, if you want to waste a bit of time but you can just use the power rule right so what does the power rule essentially say the power rule says that if you have f of x, uh, which is equal to k uh, multiplied by x to the power n, then f prime of x uh, will be k multiplied by n multiplied by x multiplied by x to the power n minus 1. So if we uh, use that same idea here, we're going to have um, f prime of x. Uh, this is our f of x right which is going to be equals to k k is 4 multiplied by n n is 3 and then multiply by um, x to the power n minus 1 3 minus 1 and then minus and then we have uh, 5x squared there so we're gonna have a uh, 5 being our k 2 being our n and then x to the power n minus 1 which is going to be equals to 12 x squared minus 10 x right and then that's how you do it uh, easy two marks and then 8.2.2 .2 says uh, find dx of uh, 
minds. Uh, let me just write down that whole thing divided by x to the power of 4, right? And then what you want to do, you want to write it in uh, our standard format such that you can use the power rule. So if you do that, you're going to have um, minus 6, uh, that term there, divided by x to the power of 4, plus 2 divided by x to the power of 4. Now we want uh, the x to the power of 4 in the denominator to multiply the numerator, right? So that it can be in standard format and easy to solve. So if we do that, we're going to get um, minus 6. Uh, if you have k and then you have x to the power of p, then this is the same as x to the power of p divided by k. So if we apply the same idea on on our term there, we're going to get x to the power 1 divided by 3, right? Multiply by x to the power minus 4. Because if you take the denominator and you want to uh, sort of make the equation linear, when you multiply it with it, you have to put a negative sign on the exponent. And then we're going to have plus 2 uh, multiplied by x to the minus 4, right? So... We're going to have minus 6, uh, minus, so if we multiply numbers with the same base, we can add the exponents, right? So we have um, 1 divided by 3 uh, plus minus 4, right? And then let me just do that and see what I get. 1 divided by 3 uh, minus 4, that is x minus 11 divided by 3. And then we have plus 2x minus 4. Now we can derivate using that idea of ours. So we're going to get minus 6 multiplied by minus 11 divided by 3. And multiply by x to the power of minus 11 divided by 3 minus 1. Then we're going to have plus uh, 2 multiplied by minus 4. x to the power of minus 4 minus 1. So what is minus 6 multiplied by minus 11 uh, divided by 3? Minus 11 divided by 3. Uh, that is giving me 22. Uh, and then x. And then what is minus uh, 11 divided by 3 minus 1? Uh, that is going to be minus 14 divided by 3. And then minus... 8x to the power uh, minus 5. So now we have derivated. Now we just have to take it back to the form uh, that we found it in. So if you do that, you're going to get 22 uh, divided by x to the power 14 divided by 3. When we go on top, we put a minus. When you come at the bottom, uh, we put a minus again. So because we already have a minus, it will cancel out. And then we have minus uh, 8 divided by x to the power of 5. 